Hi, and welcome back to the Movie Recaps Corner. Today, we shall be looking at the 2018 action-adventure movie, Robin Hood. Set in England in the Middle Ages, the film starts with a young thief named Maria entering a stable to steal a horse. Lord Robin of Loxley catches her, but he quickly becomes enamored with her, so he allows her to take a horse. The two continue a relationship until Robin is summoned by the Sheriff of Nottingham to be drafted for the Crusade's wars. Thus, Robin must leave Marion behind. Four years later, Robin is fighting alongside his fellow soldiers against Moors while trying to rescue a fellow crusader. Robin is found and attacked by a Moor soldier named Yaya. He nearly kills Robin until Guy of Gisborne chops off Yaya's hand. Yaya is later captured alongside his son. He pleads with Gisborne to let him go in exchange for information, but Gisborne still orders the young man's execution. Robin attempts to stop the Crusaders, but Yaya's son is unfortunately decapitated in front of both of them. Gisborne strikes Robin with an arrow and orders him to be sent on a medical boat back to England. Robin returns home to England to find his place in ruins. He goes to church to speak to Friar Tuck, who tells him that the sheriff had him declared dead two years earlier and that Marion arranged a memorial for him. Additionally, the sheriff is taxing citizens by claiming he's going to provide it for the war, but Tuck says that he's driven most of the commoners out of Nottingham. Robin goes off to find Marion and sees her handing out supplies in town, but he is heartbroken to find that she has moved on with the new man, Will Tillman. Robin is then found by Yaya. He thinks Yaya is going to kill him, but he instead wants to show him gratitude for attempting to save his son by training him to fight back against the sheriff. Since Robin cannot pronounce Yaya's name, he tells him to call him by his translated name, John. The sheriff holds a town meeting where he tries to sway others into paying taxes for his war bill. Marion and Will call out the fact that the townspeople have little to nothing to support themselves and their families. Friar Tuck steps out and mentions that Robin is alive, to the surprise of the townspeople, but especially Marion. Little John takes Robin to better his skills at archery. Although a bit bumpy at first, Robin quickly gets the hang of it and proves to be deadly with the bow and arrow. Marion goes to the ruins of Robin's home to try and find him, as he and John are training there. But John advises Robin not to let Marion know as to what they are up to or else she may suffer the consequences should he get caught. For the time being, Robin makes his livelihood known, and he resumes his position as Lord, working alongside the Sheriff despite working against him. When Marion does finally see Robin in the flesh, their reunion is expectedly awkward. Soon, Robin takes his training to the streets, where he ambushes the Sheriff's men and fights them off before pilfering their coins. He continues to rob them, earning himself the nickname, The Hood. At a meeting of lords, Robin suggests that a bounty be put out for the capture of this mysterious thief. The sheriff and Friar Tuck then meet with the archdeacon, who informs the sheriff that the cardinal is none too pleased to hear how he is handling the Hood situation, and he will be making his appearance in town soon. It is shown that even the sheriff must answer to the church. After the archdeacon leaves, the sheriff appears to plan something with Gisborne. The sheriff arranges for a party to take place for the cardinal's arrival. Robin, John, and now Marion attend, surrounded by all the other haughty rich folk. Tuck sneaks some keys off of a guard and gives them to Marion. Robin uses Tuck and pretends to bring him in by force to the sheriff and cardinal. Robin convinces them to kick Tuck out of the church, so now he won't have qualms working against the sheriff. Not long after, the sheriff then sends Gisborne and his soldiers to raid and pillage the town. Robin chases after Gisborne, and his identity as the Hood is made known to Marion. Robin fails to stop the bad guys, and John is captured. The sheriff interrogates John and taunts him with the memory of seeing his son murdered. He tries to get information out of John, but he refuses to give anything up. Will speaks to a gathering of townsfolk to try and act against the sheriff. Robin steps in and reveals himself to everyone as the Hood to try and inspire them to rally and take back their town. With Tuck's help, they conspire to take over the sheriff's wagon full of riches. Robin and the townspeople carry out their plan, causing the sheriff's wagon to fall through a hole in the road. 
The men take all the riches away from the wagon to distribute among the citizens. John is freed from his captors. A battle ensues among the soldiers and the revolters. Robin fights Gisborne and has an opportunity to kill him, but decides to spare him due to how much he helped in the war. Robin and Marion end up together and share a kiss, which is noticed by Will. When they find him, now burnt from an explosion, he angrily tells Marion that Robin can have her. Eventually, the fighting gets so bad that Robin steps in and reveals himself to everyone else to try and stop the innocent people from getting hurt. Robin is brought in captive inside the church to face the sheriff. Before he can punish Robin, John reveals himself to be among the soldiers inside. So he helps Robin fight the other soldiers and tie the sheriff by the neck to a rope, which Robin then shoots off its anchor to hang the sheriff. Robin later goes to find and be with Marion. The cardinal approaches a scarred Will with a proposition. Will then becomes the new sheriff and issues an arrest warrant for the hood. Robin responds by firing an arrow at the wanted sign that Will is holding. That marks the end of our movie recap. Kindly consider subscribing to support our work.